this is going to be lesson 7 in our solving equations unit. It's going to be on variables on both sides, day 2. The homework for this lesson is going to be page 14 and 15, and then there is a unit test coming up on Friday, May 12th. So, last week we started talking about variables on both sides, so today is just a continuation of that. On page 15 you will find the notes, and all it is is just a few more examples of us solving variables on both sides. So looking at example 1, I want to be solving for x. So to start off, I have 2 times the quantity 1 plus 6x. So I want to distribute first. I'm going to take my 2 and distribute it inside. So I have 2 times 1, which is 2, and 2 times 6 plus x, which is 12x. And then I keep this on this side. So it equals negative 18 plus 7x. And now I can solve for x. So I want to move my variables to one side. So I'm going to subtract 7x from each side, and I'll cancel these out. So on this side, I'm going to have 2 plus 12x minus 7, which is 5x, equals negative 18. And now it looks like all the equations we've seen before, so we can just continue solving for x. I can subtract 2 from both sides, this cancels out, so it leaves me with 5x equals and on this side, I have negative 18 minus 2, so I'll have negative 20. Divide by 5 on both sides, and I will get x equals negative 4 for my answer. Now, looking at example 2, same thing, I'm still going to solve for x. So, I'll draw my lines here. And what I want to do first, I actually want to combine my like terms on this side. So I have 3x minus 5x. So I'll have negative 2x plus 5 equals 4x minus 7. In this case, you, again, you want to get the variable on one side. I decided to add 2x to each side to get rid of this negative. That cancels out. So I'm left with 5 on this side. And on this side, I have 4x plus 2x, which is 6x minus 7. And again, now it looks like two equations we're more comfortable with, so we can continue solving for x. I'm going to add 7 to both sides. This cancels out. I have 6x. And on this side, I have 5 plus 7, which is 12. So we're going to divide by 6 on both sides, and we'll get 2 equals x. If you want to continue on to the next page, because the examples three, four are very similar. Example number five. If we look at this one, it's a little bit different. We have quantities on both sides. So we want to distribute on both sides first. So I had eight going into this quantity and nine going into this one. So I'm going to do eight times three is first, which gives me 24x. And I have 8 times 6. So 8 times 6 will be 48 equals. And on this side, we have 9 times 2a, which is 18a. And then I have 9 times negative 4. Remember, we always want to look at the sign. So 9 times negative 4 will give us negative 36. And we can just keep solving. I want to move the variables to one side. So I'm going to subtract 18a from both sides. Subtract 18a from both sides. So it cancels out over here. On this side, 24a minus 18a will give me 6a plus 48 equals. So I canceled out my 18a on this side. So I'm left with a negative 36. I can subtract 48 from both sides. So that cancels out. And I have 6a equals negative 36 minus 48 will give me a negative 84. And I can, I can divide by 6 on both sides, and I'm left with A equals negative 14. Same with example 6. I want to distribute on both sides first. I have a negative 5 times the quantity 3x plus 6 equals negative 3 times the quantity 4x plus 2. So I'm going to distribute first on this side. I'm going to do negative 5 times 3, which gives me negative 15n. And then I want to do 
gives me negative 5 times 6, which gives me negative 30. Equal, on this side, I have negative 3 times 4m, which gives me negative 12m. And I have negative 3 times a negative 2, which gives me a positive 6. I can keep solving. I'm going to move my 12m. I'm going to add it so I can use my m to this side. This is going to cancel out, so I'm left with 6. On this side, I have negative. 